The war in Ukraine has seen little to no diplomacy between Kyiv and Moscow. One area of cooperation has been around prisoner of war exchanges. More than 1,700 Ukrainian men and women have reportedly made it home through them so far. The BBC has been given exclusive and rare access to one facility where captured Russian soldiers are held in the west of the country. Kyiv says most of the prisoners will be swapped, but some will be held on suspicion of possible war crimes. Our Ukraine correspondent James Waterhouse sent us this report. Under the watchful eye of ancient Ukrainian rulers and guards march these Russian prisoners of war. Both sides have been accused of abusing captured soldiers in the past. So these are the belongings of some prisoners of war who arrived last week. Now, it's unlikely they're going to speak freely, but what this is, is an insight into Ukraine's information war, as well as a look at how prisoners of war are used as currency. Now, Kiev wants to show us these men, who they insist are being treated fairly. They're using this workshop to take shelter from Russian missiles. Some hide their faces to further protect their identities. Ukraine needs these soldiers to trade for their own. We're under supervision, but the guards don't interfere. This prisoner tells us he surrendered near the eastern town of Solidar last month. Several say they just want to go home. Some here are just days off the battlefield a mixture of conscripts, soldiers and mercenaries. Many are pale, their eyes glazed over. Sometimes history has echoes. This gritty fortress once held Soviet and then German inmates in the Second World War. Everyone here appears to know the drill. Air raid alerts seem to be the only breaks from a monotonous routine. The bite of the cold is followed by the relief of lunch. Today, it's corn soup and barley and meat before a choreographed finish. Thank you for lunch, they say, in Ukrainian. This might look like free time, but the guards have the remote. The pick of the day, a documentary on Ukrainian history but not everyone will speak the language. More or less, I am starting to understand Ukrainian. These programs are educational. This looks more like a re-education. These inmates are waiting to make a phone call home. The conversations are recorded. Алло, привет, мам. Where are you? asks his mum. I'm in captivity. I can't say more, he says. With the bloody Ukrainian, she asks. Enough, mum, he replies. The most important thing is that I'm alive and healthy. This economy of prisoner exchanges has grown, which means they're more valuable to both sides, regardless of whether they return to the fight. James Waterhouse, BBC News, Western Ukraine.